Hey guys, it's the color guy, James, and we're gonna talk about this paint color by Bear called Crisp Linen. This is a color that was requested by one of you, so I'm gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna build a color palette based around it as well. Normally, the best way to get color requests done is to become a Patreon member. It is the number one way to support what we do on the internet. I wanna keep making these videos for the rest of my life and I can't do it without your support. So link down below if you wanna become a Paint People Patreon member. Also, we have a Facebook group if you just want some casual chats with people about paint and decorating. I'll link that down below too. There you go. <laughs> so crisp linen, I have it right here. And on the Bear website, like a lot of paint companies, you get a lot of interesting information at your fingertips. And there's a little tagline here that says, crisp linen is a true beige, a perfect neutral that suggests serenity and classic beauty. Now, do I think this is a true beige? Not personally, just because I find it to be a lot lighter than what I deem to be beige leaning. But it does have a beigeness to it. It is a lighter color, it is warm, it is neutral, it's a safe color. It is one that does have a little bit of a yellow golden undertone to it. It shouldn't feel green leaning like some more straightforward yellow undertone colors. Overall, I do find it to be a very immensely versatile paint color. It's one that you can use in the majority of your home if you want something very clean and minimalist without going with just straight up white. Now, one thing Barbara did mention was crisp linen, it's being advertised as one coat coverage. It's a one coat color that you only need to apply one coat of. Now here's the thing. Uh, I find coverage, no matter what paint you're going with, largely has to do with application. Now, when it comes to one coat coverage, there are a few variables here. One, it's the type of paint you're using. It is the application, how well you're applying it, whether you're back rolling it. Ultimately, the main factor in determining whether something covers in one coat is if you're okay with how it looks after one coat. I find that no matter how good the paint is, it's always safe to go with at least two coats especially with these lighter off whites. Sometimes you need three if you really wanna make sure it's covered completely in a nice uniform fashion. Not to mention if you have a darker or a brighter color underneath, that could throw things off. So in terms of the bare line, I use scuff defense quite a bit and I've never done one coat with any color. Usually it's two to three, but that's just me. Coverage tangent over. Okay, so crisp linen, yes, great color to use as a neutral canvasy color, but I got a lot of colors to talk about in this video because we're not just dealing with one, we're dealing with six. So the first color pairing we're gonna talk about is one of the two trim color choices I'm gonna offer you. The first one being Polar Bear, which is probably my favorite white paint color that Bear makes. I mean, it has Bear in the name, how great. <laughs> What's awesome about it is it does two things really well. It's really bright and clean, but it also has a lovely warmth to it. And it's subtle, but it's there. Some bright whites can feel icy and blue leaning and even gray. This one doesn't. It has just enough warmth to it to make it feel nice and cozy, tying it really well into crisp linen. Now for our darker trim color, or if you have any nice woodwork that you want to sort of accentuate with a darker color that isn't white, perfect taupe would be an option. And this is advertised as the ultimate neutral. So you know you're doing something well if you're using it. Taupe in general is kind of a combination of gray and brown. So it's a little bit more muted than your traditional chocolatey browns. And so is this color. So I feel it does a great job at again, bringing in that warmth, but a different kind of warmth. I'm not talking about beige or cream or anything like like that, this one has a lovely brown quality to it. A bit of a khaki feel, not the green khakis, the brown ones, okay? All right, let's get into some color pairings. And these ones, they're a little more saturated. I was tempted to just go with more neutrals, like, you know, a, a taupe, darker kind of grayish color, but I wanted to bring in a little bit more color. Not too much, but a little bit. Solemn Silence will be my first choice, and I have it right here. It is part of the gray family, but it is a blue leaning gray. It has this icy, calming, soothing quality to it. So those words are important because in any space you wanna feel soothed and just relaxed and mellowed out, but still have some lightness to it. 
this could be the color for you. It does have a little more depth than crisp linen in terms of how dark it is. It has a 68 LRV, which means it is a bit darker, but not dark enough where it'll feel dark. It's still in that light sort of tier of paint colors. I almost see this as a co-star for crisp linen. So they can be used in very similar situations and circumstances, but again, just different ends of the spectrum. Very light and neutral, but warm versus cool. Next up is another beige color. This is called tapestry beige. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but this is a beige that has quite a clear orange undertone. It's sort of a peachy beige that really differentiates itself from crisp linen. I mean, if you see them together, you're not going to really mistake them for one another. Tapestry beige is for people that enjoy a little bit of fun and whimsy. Bear does a great job of describing it as a peach infused tan, and I could see why. Don't mistake this for just another neutral. It's going to have more of that vibrancy to it and energy, so make sure you test it out in the space that you want to use it in, especially if you're painting a whole room with it. If it's in the form of little accents here and there, it'll work fine. And then finally, the third color pairing in this list is the darker color. It is in fact the darkest color on this list and it does a great job at describing itself in its name. It's called charcoal blue. Charcoal gray is a very dark gray. It's very shaded and you have blue. So this kind of combines the two. It's kind of like a navy blue with even more gray added in to sort of shade it out and tone it down. And this means that you can use it as an accent color just because of how dark it is. So that contrast will be there. Or you can use it as a room color because it's not going to feel very saturated and how blue it is, it's mellowed out. You can almost argue it's kind of neutral in that sense. A very good choice if you want to differentiate from those neutrals we started with to get something a little more deep and rich and moody or like a good bedroom color or a nice handsome office color. I don't know. I like it. Here's the ballot all together. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to check out our Patreon and you can check out this video right over here. Thanks for watching.